Zealous opened in Chicago's North River area in 2000. Chef owner Michael Taos has apparently always been interested in ethnic food. In Chicago, he volunteered his time in Korean, Chinese, Vietnamese, and Indian restaurants. This while working at Charlie Trotter's. Here's his lobster toast foie gras Napoleon. He begins with the spicy lobster toast, which starts with some aromatics. Next step, I'm make, making uh, the spicy lobster mousse. I'm gonna put a little bit of the virgin sesame oil in here. I'm gonna throw my chopped lemongrass, ginger, garlic in there. I like to start out, it started out cold, so I'm not throwing these little tiny uh, pieces of the lemongrass, ginger, garlic into the hot oil. You know, instantly saute up and burn. This way it's gonna slowly steep in here, warm up, and infuse the flavors in. Then I'm gonna take, I just blast off a lobster. I like to keep a sheet tray underneath it so the juices don't flow all over my working uh, area. And crack the tail, pull the tail out. You use the claw meat also. We're gonna chop this up into some really nice pieces. See, that's all I need to do. Warm it up, infuse the flavors. We're gonna let that cool off. Chop up our lobster meat. Just put this in a little bowl to let it cool. We're going to add this great flavor into uh, the mousse. Okay, now we're going to get everything into our food processor. Uh, I like to use a little, a little bit of salmon because it's a kind of a nice neutral taste and it has a, a nice consistency in my mousse. A little bit of rock shrimp. The nice lobster chunks. We're going to put one egg to bind this up. Then we're going to put our cold mixture of our lemongrass, ginger, garlic, and a little bit of tamari. Similar but thicker than soy. A little bit of paprika because I like to... A little bit of uh, color and flavor, a little bit of richness, a little bit of a chipotle pepper into which we pureed up, and a little bit of cilantro. We're going to curate this up. I like to get the mousse going a little bit before I add all my cream. Because, you know, I want this really tight and really thick. So the more cream you add into it, the thicker, the thinner it becomes. That's it. We have a nice, nice mousse, which we're going to spread onto our brioche for our uh, lobster toast. A little uh, cornstarch. He starts the tempura batter to coat the toast flour, a little bit of uh, beer. I like a, I like a, an ale is really nice, so. Some egg whites, and some fresh cilantro. Some chive. I like to do this because it gives a little bit of nice flavor and it gives a little bit of color. And a shot of tamari. So you have a nice consistency for dipping. Okay, we have a little bit of uh, a Hudson Valley foie gras from New York. Uh, we're gonna heat up our uh, knife a little bit. I like to heat it up so I can get a nice smooth slice on it. You can just lay your, uh, your knife over, your, over the flame also if you wanna do that. But uh, this, is, this is a nice little thing you can buy at a cooking store. That way it goes right through the foie gras, like butter. Okay. 
So you're gonna make some nice marks, not cook it too much, medium rare. Turn it, turn it. Do a nice flip, nice flip. I'm gonna cut, uh, cut the brioche, the brioche this side. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, the lo spicy lobster mousse. Just like you do an Asian shrimp toast. Get a nice amount on there. We want it really rich. A little palais knife. Nice and even. Okay. Then we're gonna lightly submerge this one at a time. They are dipped into the tempura batter. They crisp up nice. See, it has some nice color from the, the herbs, a little pink from uh, the paprika. So then we're gonna take a little bit of the pineapple vinaigrette, which we put into a squirt bottle. Put a little bit in the center, just have a little extra. I'm just going to give this a quick cut because we're going to do a little piece. I'll take this one too. So we take a little piece of foie gras, a little toast, a little foie gras with a little bit of bold blood. And there we go. Thank you.